Hello, my name is Robertus Massan. This is my engineering project vlog number one. Today's day is the 25th of February 2023, and this is going to be the uh, episode of vlog one of four for my engineering project. So, we had an assignment to create a product. And this is going to be my design presentation for a transfer pump, which will be used in my workplace. Uh, this transfer pump is going to be used to transfer hydraulic oil into trim tab pumps, which are fitted onto yachts that I work on. And these pumps are used to uh, drive hydraulic rams up and down to be able to adjust the ride of the boat. At the moment, due to the supply problems, we have a lot of frequent problems with them and therefore these pumps and rams have to be taken apart or taken off the boat and it's it makes it uh, very challenging to do it in a clean manner without spilling any hydraulic oil. <clears throat> so my specifications for the pump are that it needs to transfer one litre of oil in two minutes or less. It can't be bigger than 300 by 300 by 300 mil because it has to get fit into tight spaces um, it needs to be easy to operate so that no the person using it doesn't need any um, physical training on it um, it needs to be dual flow so it can be it can fill the pump up as well as emptying it uh, depending on what part of the process um, the pump is actually going into um, and it needs to transfer low viscosity oil since that's what these pumps require. Um, so this is taken from the manufacturer's page itself. So it says that the type of oil that will be used is an automatic transmission fluid, which most um, ATFs have a very low viscosity. This makes it perfect for using on a boat which can operate in many different climates and conditions. Uh, some of the research that made uh, that made uh, that done was I looked at other pumps and other potential things that can be used to overcome this problem, and these are some of the pumps that I found myself. However, none of them actually fully met my specification and what I needed to uh, needed the pump to do, and some of them are very costly. Um, the current practices that we use is we use a funnel and bottle to fill up these pumps but this is when the um the pump is actually outside the boat when it's still being prepped and the boat is still being built however when the boat is fully built it makes it very hard to fill these pumps out and empty them without spilling anything uh, the audience is going to be Princess Shots Engineers, but this actual pump could potentially be used in other places where uh, oil transfer is required. The cost at the moment is the time that it takes to take all, uh, take the pumps apart, take the oil out, um, taking your time to be careful not to spill anything, and then X cleaning materials that are required after to be able to clean up the oil to dispose of it correctly and then any excess oil that is spilled we also have to they have to buy extra to be able to refill these pumps to the correct fill level so the way that i'm hoping to change this is to have a more control over how we pump in and pump out the oil and it will also give us be able to give us an adjustment of how much oil we put in and how much oil we take out so my initial plan is to have these internal components so such as batteries and switches and charging um, modules externally it's I was planning on a 3d printed housing and trial a few different materials i would also just would then put it all together test the functionality how long it takes to charge how long it takes to run how long it takes to recharge and then change and adapt if necessary this is some of the drawn designs that i come up with 
Um, this was the design number one. So it has a, a lead there that plugs into where it needs to go uh, for, for power, sorry. It has an on and off switch and then the pump would just sit on top of it to transfer the oil back and forth. Um, this comp was my second design, so it was more of a more of a box. It had a by flow, so it could pump both ways. It have a charging port and a variable a variable resistor to change the speed. This would all be an encased unit with batteries inside instead of a lead trailing behind it. However, after um, after further research and the amount it would cost to produce something like this of and the time that it would take, I thought of a way of eliminating the electrical side and the um, and the motor side of the actual project. So I looked at things that we use and work on a day to day basis, and then the drill, the fact that all the engineers use drills in some part of their day, made it very easy for me to be able to take out a lot of the inner workings of my design so therefore I decided to design a drill attachment something that could go into the drill and this would save a lot of money through the design process as well as not buying expensive electronics and batteries um, therefore this design of it can be reduced it can make be a simpler design and easier to manufacture so I looked at stuff like gear pumps load pumps and vein pumps and the one that I preferred or would took further into development is the loop type style so initially this was my sketch of how roughly I'd want it to look and then I made some CAD drawings of how I'd, it, it would look and how it would function um, so what would I need to make this design I'd use a 3d printer I'd work on any problems um, that it would come up during a print or anything that I would have to change. I would have to decide the material that I would use, what seals or bearings I would use, but also would I use pre-made gears which I could buy or would I design my own? Um, my next steps to it, create the design are the fact that researching seals and bearings to make sure I can get the correct ones to meet my uh, what. I need um, buy some gears and potentially create a housing around them to see if that would work uh, I would also need to 3d print the housing and develop any parts that I think won't be suitable for what I need and develop the idea further um, with any problems that I find so I've done a personal strength weaknesses on opportunities and threats so personally, I think I'm good at communicating the the product and the needs. I think that the uh, I have the ability to uh, problem solve or find relevant people to outsource the problem to. Um, and my mathematics are quite good to, to be able to calculate tolerances as well as other calculations for the project. My personal weaknesses, I've, I sometimes can have short attention span and getting some of my ideas across. And I've not got much experience in product design. Um, so the threat to my project are also not being able to use CAD. Uh, no previous experience in 3D printer or their software. So the opportunity in that is that you'd be able to use college facilities to learn CAD, to make my own drawings and learn more about 3D printing so I don't have to rely on others and I don't have to outsource the problem to anyone else. I also done a project on SWAT, um, uh, sorry, a SWAT on project, and the strength of it is it's small type. The prototype can be three D printed, and this can be done in a large volume. Testing and adjustment can be done quickly, um, since it's such a small design. Weaknesses is that it can be fairly complex due to the fine tolerances of the gears and certain gears, depending on which ones are used, will have to um, have different tolerances and the gears can be hard to design. That's why potentially buying other gears would be a much better way forward. Um, 
like I said, tolerances have to be correct to create vacuum required, but also not create small enough tolerances for it to break internally. Um, the threat for my project is that, as before, I'm not being um, not being able to use CAD. I've got very limited funding and time required to develop from scratch. However, that gives me an opportunity, like stated previously, to use colleges' facilities to learn CAD and learn how to develop new things instead of buying them. So these are my references, and this is the end of my first vlog about my project.